Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Might help if I was actually sat on the chair properly, but that's fine. We could we, that one will take. That was third start this morning, wasn't it? Not third retake. We try not to do retakes. What are we talking about today, darling? Well, you tell me what you're talking about because it was your topic. Yeah, it was my out. topic. So it, it's a it's a really um, it's I find it fascinating. Okay, because there's there's many different layers to it. But this morning we thought we I wanted to talk about that kind of that if you're B two B you go and hang out on LinkedIn, right? So it's interesting because on one hand, I get that. I get why people would do that. But on the other hand, I find that really illogical. And that's what I was going to talk about today because there's that, there's then that, I'm going to go off on one, aren't I? He but might be called preachy. Preachy. This could be preachy. That is unfortunate mm. on my part. So we need to try and make it more of a conversation. I'm going to turn this more into a conversation with my wife, Emily. Emily, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> 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 well, I have thoughts on this, mainly because I personally, as a business owner, have never really found my place on LinkedIn. I, now, I do regularly yeah. say, Emily, can you go and check your notifications? Yeah. Emily, now, can you? Now, that's not to say that LinkedIn isn't the right place for me. And we We're not saying that. We're no. not saying it's bad. We're no, not no, no, saying no, no, it's no. wrong. We're Absolutely not saying that. Absolutely not, because I know so many businesses and so many workers of businesses who use LinkedIn and they have a very good thriving business and community because they sit very well on LinkedIn. 100%. But for me, I just can't get on with the platform. But don't know why, it just does it, uh, Mine's a bit different, okay. Um, and I, I struggle, I we check all of our platforms, but I just can't find the time or inclination sometimes to pick up my phone and check my LinkedIn profile. Mine, mine's slightly different with it. So mine, I think it came from, so, uh, you know, I, I, I have that kind of corporate background mm. malarkey. And I do remember for one of the wave of redundancies 15 years ago, ever, or how probably not that long. How old's LinkedIn? Comments below, please. When was long LinkedIn founded? I, wouldn't, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, granted, we could just Google this. But if you know it, please comment below. Um, and, you know, we were going through a wave of redundancies and it was recommended that we all updated our LinkedIn profiles and got that. And, and I, so I saw it from the... I'm employed and I want to further my career position. Mm. And then when we started running our business, it dawned on me that, uh, so what What do we say now? Is it eight, nine or 10 years ago we say now? Nine. Nine-ish years ago. It dawned on me that my entire network on LinkedIn was full of people who were employed. So for me now as a business owner, I had completely the wrong network of connections on LinkedIn, right? Because what's the point? So. But that's not also totally true because I used to have messages from people going, oh, Alan, wow, see you run a marquee company now. My X, Y, Z is looking to get married. Can I put you in contact with them? And this was the first kind of opening to us that why would we stereotype or pigeonhole what people do on a certain platform? Yeah. So there's me thinking my entire network is now wrong on LinkedIn for me furthering my business. When the reality is everyone who's now there employed is now planning a wedding. Or, or sorry, they're not, you know what I mean. There are people now planning weddings and events who may want marquees. So that's when I started to realise that actually the, the, the stereotype, the pigeonhole of what people do on a social media platform isn't correctly yeah. true. And that's why we did our Yellow Tuxedo strategy with our omni-channel um, marketing and everything. <laughs> no, else. no, I know. We, 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 it's a phrase, we, we knew we knew what no, it is. We didn't even know, we didn't quite. I think we, we know it as a phrase, but we, we don't tend to talk in business jargon very often. So no. and when we do drop it in, it sounds a little bit alien. Because we don't do it. Like, because oh, one of our things is that we've always tried to talk as uh, humans. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that I probably need to use more business jargon yeah. at times. But there we go. But then it comes, I, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it came into that if LinkedIn is misperceived sometimes, and actually it is a platform for other people, exactly like a social media platform, why do we think the same kind of principle with Instagram and Facebook and Instagram's not professional or Instagram's just a place for creatives or visual people or you won't get I, business from B2B business on Instagram because this is where your customers hang out or your, your um, non-B2B customers, B2C customers hang out. And I think actually it really doesn't matter what platform you're sitting on. It's how you choose to use that platform to your advantage. So yeah, I don't tend to... Oh, 
I don't tend to, to clean up on, on, on LinkedIn, but I don't put the effort into it. Quite frankly, I don't put the effort in. Well, you see the return. If you yeah. put the effort in, you see the return. That That's that's a fact. We have know. a really good following on Facebook. We have a really good following on Instagram. On Instagram, we treat it like um, a, a business networking site. Yeah, we do. We use DMs. We talk to people both ways. We reach out to people. We engage conversation. Oh, shut you, up. You know. You no, know. I'm being preachy. No, 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 no. You said reach out. That's on one of our, that's on one I, of no, our business you know bingo lists. Smack my hand. No, I'm not smacking your uh, hand. But that's on our business bingo. Like plethora. That's why we all smile when we say we this. We don't reach thing. out and we don't ping emails to each other. Yeah, we don't ping. It's on our business ping. bingo. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's how you choose to use it. And for us as a yellow tuxedo, as a business, we are not... We're not a corporate business. We are professional, but we're not corporate. And that's plain to see on a daily basis, especially if you watch any of our content a lot. We're not corporate. We're not suits. We're not We're not that. And actually, Instagram works really, really well for us, as do other platforms. But we treat it in exactly the same way we would approach LinkedIn. And we get custom from the in Instagram. And I, I do argue, a lot of people say, but Instagram doesn't work for me. And I just look at going... But what are you doing? Yeah, what are you? What and, are you doing? And, and this is kind of a full circle part that comes back to if you put the effort in, then it works. So when people say something's not working, which Emily led with LinkedIn doesn't work for her, but then but happily admitted yeah, she's not putting put the effort, effort in. in. I'm putting out our, our daily vlog and our content onto LinkedIn, but I'm not actually going out and searching uh, connections there. I'm not actually going to, I'm not reading articles. <laughs> you're I'm, putting one way traffic I'm doing out. one way traffic and expecting to get a, a return yeah. on that. And I'm, if you're watching this on LinkedIn today, thank you very much for watching my, my <laughs> video. But I can't expect you guys to convert and work with me if I'm not going to put the effort in with you, but I do that on Instagram. So yeah. really, it, what I think we wanted to say today, it doesn't matter where you're sitting. Or Are where you drawing you're... a line? Because I've got loads more left to say, and you're drawing a line. Oh, crack on. Well, you have, it was my, was my topic. Oh, I, can I draw a line on what I've got? Oh, to go say on then. then, yeah. It doesn't matter what you're sitting on, and it doesn't matter where you think you're hanging out, because we, as we debunked that myth so many times, they're hanging out everywhere. Your, your client is not just on one platform, and if you think they are, then you are vastly mistaken. So it doesn't matter where, but where you're putting your efforts is really important. And it doesn't matter if it's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, put the effort in if you're expecting a return on your investment. That's really interesting. If you, So I think if you ask people which platform works best for them, the answer is the one they are putting effort into. Yeah. Fact. My client right. doesn't sit on Facebook, but how much effort do you put in? Yes, exactly. But And they go, Instagram works for me. And you go, how much effort you put in Instagram? Loads. There we go, right? It's as simple yeah. as that, isn't it? Um, so yeah, the one that works for you is the one you put effort into. But the point of the story is, but Emily's just surmised, but I wanted to surmise because it was my point. So you're getting a double surmise today. <laughs> the point of the story is, we all sit on everything. That's what we do, you know? And if you look at me, yes, I own a business and I had a job in one of these kind of large companies. And so therefore it would feel natural for me to sit on B2B. But I scour YouTube, I scour Instagram, I follow people doing van adventures in Instagram, I watch van builds on YouTube, I watch running stuff, fitness stuff, and whatever else. And that's when we talk about jump on trends with blogs and vlogs. What you know, why wouldn't you? I'm trying to think of an example here. And the, the point is, just because your business is flowers doesn't mean every blog and vlog should be about flowers because it could be about the seasons and a flower that works best for that season. So summer's approaching, you're all going well, off Well, now camp. you're talking about complete content strategy. Well, no, I'm not talking about content strategy, but, but my, point, my point is we don't all sit on one platform. Uh, we, we pigeonhole people to say they do sit on a platform when they don't because fundamentally we all use something. And we talked about that yesterday. We talked about the three screen strategy and everything else. And so, so that's it. So I think the the underline here is we don't all sit on the pigeonhole platform, but we do find as people that the one that works best for us is the one we put the effort into. So don't ignore all of them. But yes, the one you put effort into is the one that's going to work best for you. But make sure your content's across as many as possible for people to enter your ecosystem. And don't think Instagram's just for creatives. It's yeah, not. boom. Because right. I'm well, I I find don't do that. With no, you're wrist. right. Um, can I just have this conversation? Like, I wanted to take this conversation. In 10 seconds i keep getting i keep being called take it again people keep calling me a creative i have never in 41 years referred to myself or thought of myself as a creative mm -hmm. 
Am I? Am I? Yeah. Okay. Comments below. All right. Thanks. Have a fab day. Bye. Bye.